Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I'd like to tell you a little story uh, while I also show you an unboxing. So I started this unboxing uh, thinking that everything was going to be fine. I had a subscriber contact me and ask me to do a review of a mystery diamond painting from a website and I thought nothing of it. I went directly to the link that she gave me. I purchased it and um, it arrived and I was excited and I was thinking, oh, well, you know, I'll do a part of it and I'll show you all, which I will. So uh, I'm going to have the clip rolling somewhere on the screen. You'll see me unbox it. I'm not going to tell you the name of this store because this is what happened to me. I go in and I'm getting details for this video and I find out that this is actually a diamond painting store website that I've purchased from before in the past, which I've had issues with in the past, and they have nothing but stolen artwork all over their website. So I'm not interested in giving this store any airtime whatsoever. So this video instead is going to be a little bit of a PSA. First, I'm going to give you the details of the painting so that you can decide whether or not this is something that is for you. Personally, I don't think so. So have a look at this. The original, I, it was sent to me like this, right? It's a, oops, you can't see, that's glare. It is a pl like plastic uh, canvas. It's a 35 by 45. It's got that little question mark and the symbol key and all that, right? When it comes to you, it's like printed with nothing but letters on the canvas, which you will see at some stage if you haven't seen it already. I don't know how I'm gonna format this video, but basically um, it's a piece of crap, okay? I'm gonna be blunt, I'm gonna be blunt because I can't see, you can see this um, very clearly. This plastic is gonna get in the way, but um, you can see that very clearly on the camera. I can't see it in person, uh, no matter how far away I step back, which is kind of silly. Uh, this looks like it's a landscape. When I was unboxing it, I showed it this way because that's what I, you know, that's the way that everything is printed, so that's the way that I thought that it was supposed to be orientated. No, I'm pretty sure it's this way. Anyway, I have no idea who the artist is for this image, and I apologize, uh, but I'm not, I'm not going to, um, to name this store. This video is going to be a little bit different because I'm done. I'm <laughs> like, I'm over. I'm over this. Um, I get questions all the time from people asking me, where do I get budget-friendly diamond paintings? Uh, what stores do you recommend on AliExpress? Uh, what's, where can I buy a diamond painting for like $3? The truth is, is that th those stores are out there, but I, can't, I cannot and I will not share them, period. I am about paying the artist. Um, I have many artist friends. I know artists and I know how easy it is for them to get ripped off right? These, these stores uh, have been popping up because diamond painting has become a huge, huge thing in just a few years, very short few years and amplified because of our situation with the pandemic, right? So these stores are popping up everywhere and a lot of them have like misspelled names in on their websites and uh, they don't make any sense. Uh, I also will not give any examples of them because I don't want to give them any airtime. They keep contacting me because they want me to, to send me like a box of free stuff so that I can share it with you all and get you to spend your money with them. And I won't do it. I won't do it. I did it in the past and I didn't, you know, I tried to justify it in my mind like, oh yeah, no, if I only buy the ones that are uh, copyright free or, you know, that, that don't have an affiliation with an artist, then it should be fine. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm done. I have contacted so many stores 
they have reached out to me. They're like, let's make a cooperation. And as soon as I click their website link, or sometimes they don't even link it, I have to go and get it myself. Then I go into the store and it's just plastered full of artists that I already know, uh, that I've seen on other websites who have exclusive design copyright with a specific store or maybe with many different stores in different countries because licensing works differently and different artists want to license some with many different stores, some want exclusive rights. Sometimes it's easier to do exclusive than it is to do a contractual thing for a few months, etc. It's a whole thing, okay? And I know that you might not be interested in that. Maybe you are. Uh, so maybe contact an artist that you know and ask them. But my point is that I can't, I can't do it anymore. And I know that a lot of you are disappointed by that, but I'm, I, I morally cannot do this anymore. And it's fine. You know what? You want to do you, you do you. you. You go out there. But the problem is, is that these sites are just not safe, okay? You go on to them and you think, oh, you know, not only is it, um, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a good deal. Well, by the time that you check out with your 10 cheap diamond paintings, you're going to pay $30 in shipping anyway because they they increase the price of, of shipping as well. So my point is, and you can probably hear my husband in the back, I'm sorry about that, but real life people working from home in a pandemic. Um, the point is, is that I'm tired of my artist friends being ripped off. Um, I'm tired of being contacted by stores that have no, like no integrity at all. They don't care. They don't want to change. They don't want to change their business model. They're not interested. Even when I'm like, it's not that hard. Other businesses have done it. You can do it too. And they're just like, nope. And it, it, it's like, they just have to like change the name. And then they'll go and they'll harass a bunch of creators and be like, we'll give you free stuff if you show them on your channel. Like, I'm not telling creators what to do, okay? Everybody can do their own thing. It's your channel. It's your vision. That's that you focus on on what you need to do creators. But and it's not it's definitely not a call out. I'm not calling out anybody. I'm just speaking on my own. I'm just saying that giving them the platform, giving them the voice, the audience, uh, the clicks. I'm just I'm not interested. It's just not for me anymore. Um, the painting itself. The entire canvas is nothing but letters, okay? So it's alphabet all over this. It is so hard to read. There's no background color, obviously, because it's a mystery. They don't want you to figure out what the painting is. So behind the drills, you can very clearly see the background, especially in these dark areas. And this painting is very dark. Um, the colors that I got were mostly dark blues. Um, and I think there's one red, which is in the, I don't know what this is, a cloud maybe, and the moonlight reflection. The drills are okay. They're, um, they're acrylic, so they're cheap. Um, they're sparkly, but not really. Like, you can't really get a sparkle off of that. You can get the shine, but you're not getting any sparkle at all. You see how that is um, in comparison I haven't shown this in a long time let's see if it'll show if I turn it a certain way okay maybe it's my studio lighting anyway so this is this is a piece that I've had for a very long time this is one of my first ones from Diamond Art Club actually it was I think it was the first one that I bought for myself from Diamond Art Club this is um, friend of the maidens the orca and it's got these beautiful mermaids on the sides and I did a stretch canvas frame uh, this diamond painting I believe probably cost me in the realm of 40 to 50 dollars something like that and then shipping on top there's a big difference first of all the artist got paid a commission uh, the the rendering for this is hand charted I know Luna. She's getting up. She's getting upset too. She can, she can tell that I'm, I'm just overall. Yeah. Um, the, the artist got credited, paid, 
they got exposure thanks to that uh, through the diamond painting community. The diamond painting itself is made with a beautiful canvas that is very easy to, um, to stretch, to frame and everything. Um, like I said, this is a stretch canvas, so I've got the wooden boards inside. I even have the key in there still, just in case any of these diamonds fall off, which one just, just did. One just did, so I'm gonna put it right there because I'm manhandling it. But that this is why. That, well, first of all, like it's really important to me that I buy from companies that pay their artist, period. Like that's just, that's what I want. Um, these are works of art and they should be treated as such. It's, it, you know, for some people they're like, oh, I just want to do like one or two. I just want to de-stress. I understand. I, I get it because I do that too. But sometimes, sometimes you have to, without getting on my moral high horse, cause I know it's not for everybody. And I, I fully expect to get loads of thumbs downs and to get subscribers leaving. Fine. Bye. Like, I don't mind. I don't care. I don't care about numbers. Um, I, I want the quality and I want the artist to know that they are appreciated. And as soon as I learned about this, I learned about uh, what it means to someone to have their work stolen, reproduced without their permission, and other people making a profit off of something that they did, I changed my tune. I, I could not think about doing a diamond painting, like ripping an image from the internet and then doing the diamond painting of it. Like, I know that things have changed technologically so quickly in the past like 20 years, okay? Because I'm a child of the, the millennial era, okay? I, I grew up without computers, then we had computers, and now we have everything like TikTok, okay? But like, you know, this, how do I succinctly put this? On this channel, you are not going to find me stealing artist work from a website just because it's cheap. Just because, just because it's easy. Um, because it's a picture that I want. I'm going to steal it from the internet and I'm going to reproduce it by a company that doesn't care. So uh, I know that this was supposed to be, oh, let's check out this mystery diamond painting phenomenon. But you know what? The other thing that I don't like about this is that it, I don't know what I'm getting. This could just not be my cup of tea, which, I mean, it's it's okay, but, like, it doesn't look good. Sorry, this is in front of my mouth. It doesn't look good because you can see right through it. You can see where I use my multi-placer. You wouldn't be able to see that if there were um, a dark colored background to to fill in the gaps. Or if this was a square drill mystery diamond painting then you wouldn't see that probably if the drills are good, but considering the quality of these drills, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, if you're interested in a mystery diamond painting, or if you're interested in the idea of a mystery diamond painting, what I would do is I would just get a friend, okay? Make a friend in the diamond painting community. Uh, ask them if they would be willing to do a swap uh, in, in the way that like you set, set a price point for each other you have to spend this much at least and then find out more information about that person what they like um, what kind of diamond paintings they have in their stash get a conversation going make some friends and then go on to one of these sites buy something from the site and send it to that person I'm I guarantee you that will make their day just as much as not knowing what the picture is um, I can't, I can't, I, I would not recommend doing this. Um, so what I've done is because, you know, there, there has to be an outcome out of me spending the last two days agonizing about how I'm going to make this video and what I'm going to say, um, for, for real anxiety. Hi. Um, just have a look at the list of diamond painting companies 
that we have compiled thus far, and it's still going. We're finding more and more diamond painting companies that you can go to that you can buy licensed artwork from. It's a massive list. It's a huge list. And it's getting bigger than the places that you can buy stolen art, which is wonderful because I believe that that's the way forward. Not just because I'm a creator, okay? Because I know that that's like a concern. Oh, she's, she's a creator. So if she puts copyrighted artwork on her channel, she's going to worry that she'll get demonetized or something. That's not it. The reason that I'm doing this is because I've seen these companies steal their way across the internet, just taking the images or being like, Ooh, I really like this artist's style. So I'm looking for an artist who can replicate that style exactly so that we can pay you instead of them because you'll be cheaper. That's wrong too. But anyway, whatever. Okay. Are you, are you tired of hearing me rant yet? Um, all of this to say that I am compiling a list of all the companies that sell licensed diamond paintings. I have not been commissioned to make this video. Nobody asked me to do this except for the person who asked me to, to do a mystery diamond painting and to you personally, I'm so sorry. I hope you don't feel attacked. This is not against you. It's not against that person at all. I know a lot of people want me to, to do stuff like this and I have to draw the line somewhere. And this is the line. The line is at stores that constantly send me collaboration requests by email who have galleries full of stolen artwork. So I'm just going to stick to the companies that have licensed diamond paintings. And that's how, that's how this goes forward. This is how we change things. You know, it's the right thing to do and it's an easy thing to do now. It wasn't, uh, about what, 2018, 2019, almost impossible. There were probably two or three companies, Diamond Dots, Diamond Art Club. That was it at first. Then Treasure Studios Art and Dreamer Designs, and then we started getting all of them, craftably, all the rest. And it was amazing. And you know, it's because of you, you, who make this change. I'm just here in my craft room, spouting some, some words into the screen, into the internet, and hoping that you understand what I mean by all of this. And if you have a question for me, or if you have a concern, please leave it down in the comment section below. I'd love to start a discussion on this, um, but I'd also like everybody to keep it respectful. Please don't like start attacking people. I mean, follow the TOS, right? But let's pay the artist, right? Let's, pay, let's just, just start there. Find, find the list down below in the description box. I will also pin it to the top of the comments so that you don't have any trouble finding it. And I will try to keep that updated as much as possible going forward, because this is something that I'm really, 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 really passionate about. And I don't know if I've said it enough in the past year and a half, but it's still really important to me. And can I just say that I'm really happy to see all of these businesses starting up and they're doing it right. They're starting it the right way. They're contacting their artists. They're getting license agreements. Then they're going to the printers, not the other way around. So thank you all so much. Thank you for listening to me rant about this, but it needs to be said. And that's why I'm here. This is why I do what I do. I, I have to make the hard videos sometimes. And it's great if you agree with me. Thank you so much. But I hope that if you didn't, when you started this video, I was able to help you to understand why that's so important. And if you still need convincing, just leave me a question down below. I'll be happy to answer it. Um, wherever you are in the world, I hope that you have a wonderful day. I hope that you stay safe. Be well, and I will see you all really, really soon in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye!